This verse is awesome. In the beginning is a reference to time. God created the heaven. That is a reference to space. Space has three dimensions, length, width, and height. Where can you possibly go to not be in space? <laughs> there's no place you can go, is there? No matter where you are, there's a coordinate for you, a length, width, and a height, right? We're stuck in it. Just like time permeates everything, so does space. Now, if there wasn't any time, then there couldn't be any space either. These three, time, space, and matter, is called a time-space-matter continuum. If you want to study a lot more on that, there's a great chapter on that topic in Henry Morris's book called The Long War Against God, which is a great book. We don't sell it. Our ministry, you can get it through ICR. We could offer it, I suppose. We could order it. Somebody wants it. Uh, tremendous book, The Long War Against God. And he goes off on a rabbit trail there talking about the time-space-matter continuum. It's really tremendous. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Earth is a reference to matter, physical, material world, which also happens to have three dimensions, solid, liquid, and gas. Now, you can get a superheated gas called a plasma, but it's still basically a gas, okay, just extra hot. So we have a trinity of trinities in only ten words. Only God could write a book like that. So in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, if that verse is true, that gives you a particular way to answer the four great questions of life. Who am I? I'm a creature of God. Where did I come from? God created us. Why are we here? Must be to please Him if He made us, right? I mean, if He made us, it must be for a reason, and we better find out what the reason is and do it. Where am I going when I die? Well, no, that depends on God since He's the Creator. So I better find out what He wants and do what He says. It really answers the questions of life right there, the four great questions.